Welcome to our channel. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Peace be upon you. On this occasion, we will discuss the second pillars of faith is belief in angels. The pillars of Iman are the basic principles in Islam that every Muslim must understand and practice. Let's start. Belief in angels is the second pillar of faith. Belief in angels is indeed considered the second pillar of faith in many religious traditions, including Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, often referred to as the Abrahamic religions whose teachings originate from the one and only God. However, there are fundamental differences in the understanding of the existence and creation of angels among these three religions. In Islam, angels are viewed as celestial beings created by a higher power, Allah, SWT, or the Divine, to serve various purposes and carry out specific tasks. Angels serve as messengers or intermediaries between the heavenly realm and human beings. They are regarded as Allah's messengers who convey important messages, guidance, or revelations to individuals or prophets. In the religious scriptures, there are numerous accounts of angelic encounters where angels appear to deliver divine instructions or warnings. Angels are often depicted as engaging in continuous worship and devotion to the divine. They are portrayed as beings whose sole purpose is to glorify and serve Allah, expressing their loyalty and reverence through prayer and prostration. In this aspect, angels serve as examples of obedience and devotion, inspiring believers to emulate their righteousness and faithfulness to the divine. Within angelology, various belief systems propose hierarchies and classifications for different types of angels. These hierarchies often describe ranks, roles, and responsibilities assigned to angels based on their proximity to the divine or the tasks they perform. It is important to note that beliefs about angels can differ among religious traditions and individual interpretations. While some people hold literal beliefs in the existence and activities of angels, Others may view them as symbolic representations of spiritual principles or aspects within human consciousness. The understanding of angels varies across cultures and religious denominations, but their significance lies in their connection to the divine and their role in facilitating communication between the heavenly realm and the human world. Certainly. In Islam, belief in angels holds great significance and is an integral part of the faith. Here are some additional details about angels in Islam. Existence and nature. Muslims believe that angels are created beings made of light, newer, and possess a unique existence separate from humans and other creatures. They are created by Allah, God, and are purely spiritual beings, not bound by the limitations of the physical world. Belief in the unseen. Muslims are required to have faith in the unseen, which includes the belief in angels. Although angels cannot be perceived by human senses, Muslims believe in their existence based on the teachings of the Quran, the Islamic holy book, and the sayings and traditions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Tasks and duties. Angels in Islam are assigned specific tasks by Allah. They carry out various responsibilities in the universe, including recording human actions, protecting individuals, delivering divine messages, and fulfilling divine commands. For example, the angel Jibril, Gabriel, is known as the angel of revelation who brought the Quranic revelations to the Prophet Muhammad. Importance in Islamic Beliefs and Practices Angels play a vital role in Islamic beliefs and practices. They are believed to be involved in acts such as the creation of human beings, the blowing of the trumpet on the Day of Judgment, and the questioning of individuals in the grave. Muslims are encouraged to seek the intercession and help of angels through supplications and prayers. Not to be worshipped. Islam strictly prohibits the worship of angels or assigning divine attributes to them. Muslims are only allowed to worship Allah, ascribing no partners to Him. Angels are seen as servants and instruments of Allah's will, and their purpose is to worship and obey Him. Archangels. Islam recognizes several prominent archangels. Among them are Jibril, Gabriel, 
who is responsible for delivering divine revelations, Mikhail, Michael, who is associated with providing sustenance and blessings, Israfil, who will blow the trumpet signaling the day of judgment, and Azrael, who is the angel of death. Belief in angels is an essential component of Islamic theology, reflecting the intricate relationship between the heavenly realm and earthly existence. Muslims consider angels to be an integral part of Allah's divine plan and acknowledge their profound influence on human affairs. Archangels, in addition to Jibril, Gabriel, Mikhail, Michael, Israfil, and Azrael, there are a few more archangels mentioned in Islamic tradition. Malik. Malik is the angel responsible for guarding the hellfire. He ensures that the punishments and torments of hell are carried out appropriately. He is described as a stern and formidable angel. Ridwin. Ridwin is believed to be the angel in charge of paradise, Jannah. He welcomes and grants entry to the righteous souls into paradise, ensuring their eternal bliss and enjoyment. Israfil, Israfil, mentioned earlier, is known as the angel who will blow the trumpet or horn to herald the day of resurrection. This trumpet blast will signal the end of the world and the resurrection of all beings for judgment. Kiraman Katiban, Kiraman Katiban refers to a group of angels known as the noble recorders or honorable scribes. These angels are responsible for recording the deeds of humans throughout their lives. They maintain detailed records of every person's actions, both good and bad, which will be presented on the Day of Judgment. It's important to note that the specific names and details of the archangels may vary across different sources and traditions within Islam. The mentioned archangels are among the most widely recognized and commonly mentioned in Islamic teachings. Muslims revere and hold deep respect for these archangels acknowledging their crucial roles in the divine plan and their influence on human destinies. However, it is essential to emphasize that Muslims worship and direct their devotion solely to Allah, recognizing the angels as honored servants and instruments of His will. Thank you for watching this video. We hope this information has been beneficial to you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow our exciting content about Islam. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Happy greetings and let's maintain world peace. Differences are beautiful. A special thank you from the heart.